everybody. Good afternoon. I'm Celia Artis, and I'm currently interning at VCU Health Hub. Once again, we're speaking about mental health and ways to promote positive mental health. Today, we're getting active with Terika Woolridge from Historic Wellness. I hope you all are ready to join us for a fun workout. But first, Terika, can you speak a little bit on how physical fitness relates to mental health? Yes, I definitely can. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm not going to keep you long. I know we are here to move. So I'm not going to keep you long, but I do have a quick PowerPoint that will um, help you all to see um, where I am going. Let's see. I want to share this screen. And we're going to go here. Yes. All right. So we can see um, our health triangle. So um, when I was asked to talk about how mental health relates to fitness, it was an easy, easy comparison. Um, I've been teaching health and PE in the mental health world for about 13 years now. And I can definitely see the difference in our students when they're able to have physical activity and when they're not. Um, so I've been thinking about health in terms of a triangle. Um, and so when we think about a, a three-legged stool, right? You have to have all legs in order for this one item to work and function the way you want it to. So if we have mental, emotional as one part, physical as one part, and social health as one part, all three of those work as a triangle, and they have to work together in order for us to have total wellness. So when we think about physical health, what are those things? So physical health are things that relate to our physical body. So um, food that we eat, the amount of sleep that we get, if we're exercising or not, um, hygiene, all those things could affect uh, what's next is mental emotional. If we haven't eaten, our thoughts and our actions, our feelings might be off. We might not be able to function at school or at work. So if one thing is off, they all will trickle and be off. And so if my thoughts and my feelings are off, I might have issues in my social interactions with others. I might not be able to connect and create those relationships and bonds that normally I would. So simply put, to not keep you long, um, if one is off, they all are. So if we're not getting enough sleep, we're not getting enough food, we're not getting enough physical activity, how are we going to feel good? How are we gonna have positive thoughts, right? They all work together. So with all these things to consider, what are we gonna do to balance our triangles? We're gonna be aware of all parts and figure out how we can keep a good balance. So what we're gonna do today is practice one of those healthy behaviors. If you're here and able to write into the chat, I want you to write out some things that are healthy behaviors. Of course, we're gonna do physical activity today as our healthy behavior, but I wanna see things like journaling, right? Listening to music, going for walks, being in nature, right? So I wanna see those things. What are some healthy behaviors that we should be practicing, that we should be involved in outside of physical activity, but they all relate, right? Getting enough sleep should be on your list. Eating healthy food should be on your list. Having those connections with people that you can trust and talk to. All those things are gonna, I see the chat. Good, good, good. Let, let us know some healthy things that you haven't tried before that you're interested in, right? So today we're gonna get into physical activity. If you do have questions, or any comments that you wanna share, please use the chat box. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we're gonna get moving if that's all right. Yes, I'm excited to get moving. I just wanted to also share, like you said, there's so many other ways just to take a break and relax. I recently started coloring because I wanted to kind of get a break from social media. So I found that when I color, it relaxes me. And that's another way, like you said, there's so many different things we can get into. So if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm excited. It looks like I'm still sharing screen. Am I? I hope it went away. If I am, it's okay either way. As long as people can still see me, let me know if you can see me, hear me. I'm going to play music just to make sure that we all can hear. I do want to know that um, we can hear it, it sounds fine, and that we're all right. I'm just gonna play any random song just to make sure we can hear. We're good, we can hear, we can hear my voice and the song. Yes, all right, y'all, so we wanna find a nice open space. I took all the furniture out of my space. <laughs> and I've been doing that since COVID because I've been trying to give opportunities for people to be physically active. So this has become my studio, I've been recording, 
um, doing group fitness. So hopefully you all enjoy today. Go ahead and find a nice um, free space. And we're gonna start with the legs wide. And we're going to ragdoll the arms. So I'm gonna go ahead and move back and just make sure that we all can see in here. I see you fine. All right, so the legs are wide and we're opening, ragdolling the arms, starting out right away with good posture and thinking about our breathing, right? We're gonna be mindfully moving. So we're using our bodies and we're making that mind-body connection. Breathing in deep. Again, the knees are soft. I'm gonna take my time and roll the shoulders to the back. Breathing deep, checking my posture, bringing those shoulders all the way up to the ears and around, good. Now I'm gonna reverse that, so I'm gonna take those shoulders around from the back to the front. Breathing in deep. Good, now we're gonna take our time and stretch out the neck. We're gonna take the head and roll it all the way around, nice and slow. Knees are soft again. Taking our time, rolling around for a second time. <sighs> Make sure we go the other direction. So take your time, roll it all the way around, opposite direction. Feeling all the muscles stretching out in the neck. Make sure you get two full ones. All right, taking it back to the shoulders. Let them bounce up and down, up and down. With your shoulders, up and down. I'm actually making extra steps. You don't have to make the steps if you don't want to. But the shoulders are up and down. And we're going to double that. Your whole body should be vibrating. Nice. Good. Take the arms and reach out to the side. Nice, y'all. So we are reaching side to side as far as we can. So we're reaching. Reach side to side. Good. Reach side to side. Feel the core, abdominals are holding your body up nice and tall. Reach up with those arms, reach up. Good, reaching up. We're gonna go back to side to side. Side to side. This time when we reach, we're gonna reach all the way around. Soften the knees and give ourselves a nice side body stretch. Feeling that stretch. Use your muscles, lift your body up, go back to the reach, reaching out side to side, good. Now we gotta reach over and get a nice side body stretch on the other side. So I'm gonna take the opposite arm, stretch it out nice and far, reach it on over my body, knees are soft, and I got that nice side body stretch. Nice, take it to the front, and we're reaching to the front, good. We're going to reach on up to the sky. Good. We're going to take one arm, cross the body. The other arm is going to catch in between the joints so we get a nice shoulder stretch. Hold that stretch. Good. We're going to let go of that arm. Let it come up and around. Touch the shoulder blade. Fingertips come. Grab that elbow. Slight tug. <sighs> Shake it out. We got to get the other side. We're going to take it across the body. Other arm catches. Get a nice shoulder stretch. Let it go. Bring it up and over. Touch the shoulder blade. Fingertips come. Grab that elbow. Slight tug. All right, let's get to the bottom half. We're going to take our foot. We're going to hold on to it, either the pants or whatever we can grab. We want to get the heel as close to the bottom as we can. We're going to press the pelvis to the front, get a nice straight line. Feel the stretch happening in the quad. Breathe. We're going to let go. Let the heel touch the floor. We're going to have a seat back. Get a nice stretch in that long leg. Feel that hamstring stretch. And we're trying to find straight lines. So it's not about how flexible. I just want to feel that stretch. I want to feel the stretch activated behind my legs. Ah, shake it on out. Opposite side. So I'm going to and grab that foot. Hands or whatever. Bring the heel as close to my bottom as I can. Get my body as straight as I can. Press the pelvis to the front. Feel that quad stretch. I'm going to let go. Let the heel touch. I'm going to have a seat.
Very nice. How y'all feeling? If at any time you need water or if you want to wipe off, feel free. All right. I can't see everyone, so I can't say, hey, I think you need water. So definitely feel it. Be mindful. Take care of yourselves. All right, y'all. So we're going to keep with the warm up part and we're going to use our whole body. All right. So we're going to raise our arms. They're going to go up and out. So they're up and out. Up and out. You can make that whatever you want. You see, I already got like my legs making this extra thing happen. So the arms are up and out. If you feel like you want to add more, you feel like you can take more, you can lift the leg. So add the leg lift. If you like, whenever you raise your knee, you're automatically working your abdominals. So it's your choice. We're getting the heart rate up, raising the arms and pushing them out. We're pushing up and out. So the second part of this, we have squats. You can take them in a slow four down and four up, or you can pump them. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can pump your squat or you can go slow. So we're coming back to the pump of the arm. Up and out. Again, this is to raise the heart rate. If you want more, add the knee. We're going to try those squats here. It's your choice. I'm going to pump my one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, pump. And you can try them. Simple one, two, three, four, up, two, three, pull it in nice and tight. It's really your choice. Try one more time. Last time. And after this, we're going to go back to the arm. We're going to pump them up and out. Here we go. Arm pumps. Push up and out. For those of you who I can see, you look amazing. I'm going to add the knee. Just to get the heart rate going a little bit more. Last squat. One, two, three, four. Last set. Nice job. I love to come and check on my people. See how everybody's doing. All right, y'all. So first full dance. Y'all all right? So we're rolling the hands up and down. We roll them up, up, and down. Nice. So we bring our bodies up with the roll up. Bring it back with the roll down. Yes. Next move. We got arm, arm, hip. Arm, arm, little build. So I'm giving us basic. And next time we'll add more to it. So we got arm, arm, that hip comes all the way around. Arm, arm, hips all the way around. Yes. Let's roll up. And up. Bring it back. Good. Roll it up. And bring it back. Y'all arm and hip. Yes. We got the arm and the hip. All right, new move. So it's a standstill to gallop, right? So I'm just bringing the leg off the ground a little and allowing the knee to bend. And it's a slight rotation, other side. Feel good? All right, so let's go back to the other side and add a little speed to it. I'm adding arms. All right, y'all, let's try the other side. So we're trying this in place. Why? Because we're going to take it in a circle. All right, y'all ready? So I'm going to take eight steps to go around in a circle. So that standing gallop is taking me around. Yes? Let's try the other side before we go in that circle. Let's just feel it. Because sometimes it's hard, your mind, right, to switch and go on the other side. 
So we want to be going in circle this way. Good. Use the eight to come all the way around. Nice job, y'all. Now, if you feel like you need to stretch, you say, I just marched that one out. Nice job. The stretch we did earlier is a good leg stretch. All right, y'all. Raise the knee, and the hand is coming to the knee and pushing away. Pushing away. Yeah. Raise to the knee and push away. Good. We can single, single, and double. Good. Single, single, double. Remember, when you lift the knee, you're automatically working those uh, lower abdominals. I know y'all feel it. So we go hand and legs to the back. 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 Good. Hand and legs to the back. Hand and legs to the back. Now we got to reverse that. We got to bring the arm around to the front. Around to the front. Yes. Range of motion. Yes. Take your time. Around to the front. Feel that. Take your time. All right. We're going to go back. At a little speed. Yep. Let's reverse it. Bring it around. Nice. Now good. So the leg is going to stay in this similar position. What I'm going to do is bring the knee in. Bring the knee in. Yes. So side to side, drop the knee in. Yes. Now we're going to throw it away with the hand. Push it away with the hand. Good. Take this round, your room, y'all. Use your space. Take that knee. Drop it around your space. Nice, y'all. Now you can take that arm wherever you want it. It can go up to the side. You can march it out if you're tired, right? So you can go to the back, to the side. March it out if you're tired. Good job, y'all. Keep that march. Two steps side to side. Still got the arms engaged and keeping the heart rate up. Nice. If you need to break, please do. Grab your towel, grab your water. Do whatever it is you need to do to feel good. This is about feeling your best. All right, y'all, more dancing to come. Arms are up. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Yes? After that, arms come down. Arm circles. Yep, so bring the arms up. You're going to try single, single, double again. Other side. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Yep. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Bring the arms down. Arm circles. Two steps. Nice, y'all. Two steps. Let's hang here for a minute. We want to add those knees to our two-step. So those knees that come in, right? We just saw them. We're going to use them in a different way, right? So we got them going slow. We want to see, can we get on them double, right? So I can bring one in, one out. That's slow. Or I could double it in, out, in, out. Just to see where we are. Nice and slow. Nice. Back to a two-step. So from the two-step, we're going to go to single, single, double. And again, it's going to grow. So we stood straight up and wave the arms. Yep. We're going to try it again. And more like a squat, we wave. Your double becomes a, a circle. Wave, wave, circle. 
Wave, wave, circle. All right, we're going to stay here for a minute. I want you to feel that. Your arms are up. When you make that circle, I want you to feel what happens in your abdominals. Right? So it's a single, single double. So just keep that in mind. Repeat to yourself. Single, single double. Single, single double. And feel that. What happens to your core? Nice. Stay there. All right, y'all. Two steps. We're going to go back to those knees. We got slow knee, slow knee. Good. Stay there. Last two. We're going to crank it out on one side. Crank. Right? So that doubles. Yeah, we want to try to crank on the other side. So we crank it. Nice, y'all. Grab water if you need it. <clears throat> Another dance to come. Y'all doing all right? Only about 15 minutes have gone by. So after this dance, I think there will be a nice amount of time for us to cool down, do some good stretching. You have to do the activity, warm up, stretch, activity, you cool down and you stretch. So there's five step process. You warm up, stretch, do the activity, cool down and stretch. All right, so we're still in our activity portion. Now doing all right? All right, y'all. So I am stepping forward, letting the heel touch the foot. Right? And then I'm going to add my arms that opposition. Right? And so I'm pointing opposite foot, opposite toe, opposite finger. Right? So I'm pointing opposite hand to foot. So this is a point and roll because when I'm comfortable, I add a roll motion with my body. I'm rolling through. Yep. So next up we got pause. Pause and roll. We pause, we pause, we roll. So I step out in, out in, and roll. Out in, out in, and roll. And the arms, pause and roll. Nice job. Pause, pause, and roll. Last one, pause, pause, and roll. We got in and out knees. Right, so we've seen it similar. We're doing one at a time. Now we're bringing them both together at one time. In and out knees. Nice. Wind up your waist. So we wind it. One direction. Use your mind. Feel it out. Rotate the other direction. Yep. Let's try the other direction one more time. Good. Other side. Nice, y'all. We're going to take the foot out in, slide. Out in, slide. Out in, slide. Good. Out in, slide, point and roll. We're going to pause, pause, roll, roll. Y'all look good. I see some of y'all. We need two more pause, pause, rolls. In and out knees, y'all. Nice, y'all. I know it burned. We're going to wind it out right here. Two, three, four, other side. Two, three. Four, good. March it out. Hey, hey. Y'all are hanging on in there. About to slow it down. We're going to cool it down. Y'all okay with that? Yes. Keep moving, y'all. Notice I never stop. Even if it's, if it's a two-step and a little sway, keep that body moving. Don't choke on your water. Figure out a way. To keep the circulation, the blood circulation, oxygen circulating, keep breathing, keep moving. 
have just one night. But we can have one whole life if we play it cool. All right, y'all. Yeah. Side to side. We can have that one thing. Or we can have everything if our hearts are true. Ah, deep breath, y'all. We're going to sway side to side, raise the arms. Ah, let them go. Yes, y'all. Breathe it in, nice and deep. Let me get to know you. Nice, y'all. We're going back to the beginning where we did our reach side to side. Yes, reach nice and far. Double it. Good. Take your time. Choose one. Reach as far as you can. Come on over. Get that side body stretched. I like to bend my knees. Keep the knees soft. Unless you feel really good and stretched, you can keep the legs straight. It's really up to you, but I prefer to keep my, my soft knees. I'm going to use my stretch to bring my body up, not momentum. And I go back to reaching. I'm going to reach nice and far over this side and grab it and pull it on over. Nice side body stretch. I'm going to breathe it in nice and deep. Raise a hand above my head and hold that. On my next inhale, I'm going to feel a slight bend to the back, raising my chest. To the ceiling, doing a nice stretch in the chest. From here, I'm going to give myself a swan dive down. So I'm going to keep my knees soft, though, guys. And I'm going to fold my body down and let my arms hang. If I feel comfortable enough, I'll nod yes. I'll shake my head no. It just depends on how comfortable I am here. I could try to straighten my legs if I'd like. It's really up to you. I have a, a soft knee, it's fine. But if you want to test yourself, you can try to straighten the legs. Hang there for a moment. I'm going to bend my knees so that I can take one leg back for a low lunge. All right? I'm going to raise my body up just to see if I can raise myself. Some people like to stay down. I try to find a straight line. So I have my low lunge here. I'm going to place my hands down, bring that other foot to match in the back. I'm going to go down for a half push up and I'm going to raise my chest. Breathe through there. I'm going to take my toes and press them under. I'm going to lift my tailbone up and back for a downward dog. I try to get my head in between my shoulders. I hold that for three breaths. I'm then going to bring one foot to the front to get another low lunge. I'm going to find that place where I can lift my body. Feel my low lunge. I'm going to bring that back foot up to meet the one that's in front. I'm now in a low chair position. I'm going to raise my arms up, lift myself out of my chair. At the top of that, I'm going to find that place where I can reach back. I'm going to pull it all in nice and tight using my core strength, not momentum. I'm going to have, place my hand on my chest, feel my heart beating, feel my lungs. I feel alive after that. We're going to try that one more time together, y'all. Breathe it through. All right, I'm going to raise my hands up above my head. I'm going to breathe in nice and deep. I'm going to find that place where I can extend up and back. Get a nice stretch in the chest. Legs are straight. I'm going to take my time and swan that down. Legs are straight this time for me, but it is all right if you want to have the knee bent. It's really up to you. I'm going to hang there for a moment. Nod my head, yes. Shake the head, no. I'm going to bend the knee slightly so I can take a step back and get my low lunge. I bring my body up. I just do this to test my strength. From here, I'm going to go ahead and put the hands down so I can bring that foot that's in front to the back to me. I'm in a high plank. I bring my body down as if I did a push-up. 
I flatten the toes, I lift my chest up in a cobra. I breathe through that. I tuck the toes under. I go ahead and I lift my body up. And then I take the tailbone up and out for a downward dog. Try to flatten the feet down. See where I am. Mindful about which foot was in front before. I bring one foot in front of me for a low lunge. I bring my body up just to test myself. I breathe through that. I bring that foot that's in the back. Push it on up to the front. I find my seated position. And I breathe myself up to standing. I take my time. Bring the hands to heart and belly. And I breathe that in. Sit for a moment with what I just experienced. Last breath. All right, we try to end the way we began. So we have our legs wide, ragdolling through. Remembering to breathe, I have soft knees. Take your time, roll the shoulders to the back. Mindfully roll the shoulders the opposite direction. Roll them from the back to the front. Soften the knees, stretching the neck. So we're going to roll it all the way around, taking our time. Ensuring we get both sides. So after a second rotation, roll the opposite direction. Two full revolutions. We're going to take one arm and cross. Other arm catches in between the joint. Nice shoulder stretch. Take that arm. Let it go up and over. Fingertips touch the shoulder blade. Fingertips come. Grab that elbow. Slight tug. Shake it on out. Opposite side. Catch it in between the joint. Feel the stretch. Let it go up and over. Fingertips come. Slight tug. Let it go. Shake it out. We're going to bring the arms up over our head. Breathing in positivity. Let it go. Any negativity. Last one. Bring it up and around. Fingertips come. Grab your shoulders. Give a nice tight squeeze to yourself. You all hug yourself. You did a great job. Thank you all so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much, Terika. I really enjoyed it. My mom actually came and did it with me and she enjoyed it too. <laughs> I just want to say that I know some people don't think of exercise as being fun, but you have to make it fun for yourself, whether it's, it's taking a class, going on a walk, getting roller skates and skating. And right now there are a lot of resources online. Terika actually hosts a class on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. for free. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? Yes, so the Fitness Warriors, I'm a member, I was telling Natalie, I didn't know which shirt to wear. I have my Fitness Warrior t-shirt on under this t-shirt in case I was a Fitness Warrior today. Um, but the Fitness Warriors, if you go online, you can just Google uh, Fitness Warriors calendar because um, I don't know right off the top of the address of where to find it. But we have free fitness classes going on on Zoom. Um, and I know the sessions are about to end. Um, but you can like Google free fitness. I know that the Ailey, Alvin Ailey, they just opened up a free fitness, like free classes. Um, so there's so many options. Just Google um, free fitness and you'll be surprised. I was, I just got a text today, an email from the Ailey school that they're opening up free classes again. I did it last session. Um, so I guess if anyone needs information, I can um, shoot those links to Natalie. We can post them somewhere. Um, at least the Fitness Warrior one and then the, the Alvin Ailey, if anyone's interested in dance classes. I love to take free and uh, free dance classes, dance classes, but free is even better. But all the Fitness Warrior classes are free. And the class I lead on Saturday is on, on Tuesdays is through the Fitness Warrior program. So we're through sports backers. Yes, we will post. Thank you, Miss Natalie. <laughs> well, I hope everybody enjoyed our workout today. And I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Thank you. Yes, y'all stay well.